Abongile, thank you so much for your time on the program. So let's talk about uh, what is expected to happen throughout the day. Good day to you, Mkolis. Certainly, SACP's General Secretary, Solima Paile, expected to be part of this inaugural memorial lecture of the late struggle icon Mama Ruth First. Remember, she passed away in 1982 in Maputo, Mozambique, after she was killed under the brutal apartheid system. Mama Ruth First being remembered here by the SACP, also a spouse to the late struggle icon Joe Slovo, will be remembered for the first time uh, in this month of women, which is August, Mamarut first having played a magnificent role in as far as struggle is concerned in South Africa, a journalist and an author as well. So today is an inaugural lecture where Solima Pail will be delivering it. Significant, of course, earlier in the day we've seen the SACP marching from the Constitutional Hill all the way down here to the Johannesburg City Hall, trying to highlight the plight into which women are being abused, are being are being victims of violence, the anti-GPV match taking place right here in Johannesburg. That work started around 10 o'clock from the Constitutional Hill, but we are here at the City Hall now joined by the SACP's Alex Mashilo. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. The significance of today, very briefly. Today, uh, this is the month of August, is the National Women's Month in South Africa. Uh, the first having been in 1995. But today we are here to commemorate a leader of the SACP, Ruth First, a revolutionary journalist and academic, uh, an intellectual of note who was murdered by the apartheid regime in 1982 using a parcel bomb. Uh, she was in Maputo at the University of uh, Montlane when she received the parcel bomb that uh, stole her life, denying her three daughters and uh, husband, uh, uh, Jos Lovo, uh, uh, of her permanently. So the SACP General Secretary Solima Paila will be a keynote speaker, taking us through the life and times of Ruth First, and uh, uh, we will have uh, messages from the Young Communist League uh, as part of the event. And of course, the, the role she played, one cannot deny that, is quite a huge role as a woman number one and as an anti-apartheid activist. What do we learn in as far as your experience and your exposure to a history is concerned with the role that she played in South Africa? Remember that uh, Ruth First was active in South Africa before apartheid was officially declared. Uh, she was a student at uh, uh, the University of the Witwatersrand where she helped uh, found uh, the Federation of uh, South African Youth. So apartheid was only declared after the racist nationalist party came to power at the end of the 1940s. So she formed part before then of the struggle against colonialism or colonial rule in South Africa and she continued that uh, against apartheid. So she's more than an anti-apartheid activist. She's an activist who fought for freedom from colonial rule in South Africa and freedom from apartheid rule. Thank you so much, Alex Mashilo. Thanks. Well, there you have it. Mkolis Alex Mashilo is the spokesperson for the SACP, going at length, certainly, in it, uh, to actually tell us more about the life and times of Mama Ruth first. She's remembered here. Uh, it's not a mistake that she's remembered in this month. She actually, it actually was on the 17th of August, 1982, when she was assassinated while in Maputo, Mozambique. So it's 40 years down the line that the late uh, struggle icon is being remembered for the first time in the form of an inaugural lecture. I'm sure you can hear in my background uh, tribulation and a lot of excitement celebration ahead of that lecture which is to be delivered by Solima Paile. Members of the SACP came out in numbers filling up this city hall in Johannesburg to actually pay tribute and say halala to Mama Ruth first for her role. Uh, even before apartheid was declared uh, here in South Africa in accordance to what Alex Mashilo has just told us. So wait and see then in the next few minutes uh, for Solima Paile to deliver that inaugural election. I'm sure SABC News will be taking that live in a few minutes.